We had gone online and looked at fish extenders and they were very expensive. They started out $40 to $50 and I didn't want to spend that kind of money on them. So I tried to figure out the cheapest way to do this. So we went to Hobby Lobby and we bought three bags that looked like this. We tried to keep it Mickey Mouse colors, red, black, and white. So we're going to decorate like um, Mickey head on this one and put the bow at the top, which we'll show you later. On this one, we were going to do the Mickey Mouse and then we're going to like make this like a bow tie, but we're going to cut this one to look more like a bow tie. And then we bought these like to use for the tracing of the Mickey Mouse head. So now we're going to show you how we're going to put these bags together. So we're going to take the front straps and we're going to cut them off of each bag, which we've already done with that one. Okay, so now we're going to go and measure three and a half inches on each bag so that we can use this in order to sew the three bags together. So like again, you cut the first one off, then you take the back and you're going to leave about three inches. Now we're going to sew these together. Okay, so this is the top bag. It's still going to have the hook on it, like to hang the tag on it to hang from the fish hook. It's going to be right beside the door. That's where they get the fish extenders because it's going to extend from the fish hook. So then we're going to sew, leave a little bit of a gap. I would leave about an inch in between and then sew these together. You're going to have to sew it really, really good though because just in case the presents are heavy, you don't want these to rip apart while they're hanging on your wall. So next step is to sew. We sewed them together. We did like a just a whip stitch from this to get this onto the actual bag itself. And we just showed from the, sewed from the inside. And then we decided we were gonna safety pin them so that we could give them a little bit more security. Now it looks like this. I'm gonna flip it around and show you. See, you cannot see the safety pins and you cannot see the stitching. If you don't want to sew them at all, you can use the safety pins. As long as nobody takes the safety pins out, they're gonna stay reinforced. So now we're on to the decorating phase. Okay, so here's what we're doing now. We're gonna take our stencil of our Mickey Mouse and we're gonna tape it down so that we can sketch around the Mickey, but we don't want it to move. And this one is gonna be for the guy Mickey instead of Minnie, so we're gonna like, we have the black bow tie there and we're gonna put it at the bottom of his head. And this is a special fabric marker that we got at Hobby Lobby. They were like two for six and you had to get a blue and a black in the pack, but maybe you could go somewhere else and get just the black one. So now we're tracing on the third or bottom of the bag and this is gonna be Minnie Mouse. And really it's just the outline of her head. Her head is the very same so now we're trying to put the bow on the Minnie Mouse and we're trying to safety pin it from like the inside out and the bow just goes between her two ears. I like it. Looks cool. Very good. Okay, let's try Mickey and then just pin it from the inside out, come through the canvas and then come through the bow. Yeah, that looks good. So now we're going to attempt to put the letters on. And for our letters, we don't really have a Cricut. So we went to a Hobby Lobby and again, we bought these like stick on letters that you could put the, and then your name, like the Smith family. Ours is the Cravens family. So we're gonna attempt to put that on now. First, we tested this one to see if the foam letters that we bought at Hobby Lobby would actually work. So we're spelling out our name there on the first one. So we took a letter we knew we weren't going to use and we stuck it on the handle that we had torn off and it doesn't come off very easy. Okay, we're going to freehand this. Ta-da! It's finished! The Cravens family. And there's three of us in our cabin. That's why we had three pockets. But you could make as many pockets as you have kids for. And they made smaller totes than this at Hobby Lobby. So you could even get ones that are half this size. This is just the bigger totes. We don't know for sure where their hook's gonna be. This is just like on about, what, maybe eight inches from the top of the door frame. And then that's how low it hangs. But you have plenty of room if you wanna add more pockets. And like I said, you could get the smaller totes that would be almost like two thirds this size if you had like four or five kids. Fairly simple. We probably made it all in, what, an hour? Yeah, I would say an hour. 
Yeah. So to fold it up to put it in a suitcase, I would just do this so that your letters are protected on this side. Fold it over and then I would lay it on top of all my luggage, like my clothes. 